Hey guys! Today we're going to be making a postable baby Groot, so I really hope you'll enjoy. You want to begin with a light brown or tan color, roll out a ball and then flatten slightly to create the base for the head. Next I placed the eyes, which are pre-baked pieces of black clay. I then started defining the shape of the face and adding some clay around the eyes to make them the right size. Once you're about happy with the look, you want to smooth out the clay and then add the rest of the details as well as some texture. If you have any questions about the tools and materials I use or just any general questions about my channel, I always link my FAQ in the info box and otherwise you can find some basics videos about my tools on this channel as well as my other miniature channel. As always, when making these characters, I find a bunch of pictures of the character from different angles on Google and then put them together to make a collage in Photoshop that I can look at while sculpting. Because this movie is fairly new, there is a limit to how many screenshots and clear pictures you can find, so I couldn't find all the ones I needed and that's why, especially for the body, I just kind of freestyled it instead of making it accurate to the character. The good thing about Groot is that there aren't really a lot of other characters that look like him and so you're not really gonna mistake him for being someone else. Once I was done sculpting and adding the details I wanted, I went over it with a toothbrush to add some more texture. I used the toothbrush in a brushing motion and it's not really gonna add a lot of detail, but it is going to add a tiny bit of detail to the smooth areas. I then took a needle tool and poked a hole all the way through his head, and then pre-baked. After pre-baking, I added some clay to the back and sculpted it the same way as with the front, and then pre-baked again. Next you can make the armature, which I make basically the same way for all my creatures or characters, so I'm going to link one of my videos in the info box if you haven't seen how to make it. You can then begin sculpting his torso or body. Because I wasn't able to find a nice crisp picture from the angles I needed, I did use what I could find just to look how the pieces were put together, and then I also did a lot of freestyling. So I'm sorry if the pattern of the wood twining isn't exact, but as long as you can see who it is, it's not really a big deal. It's not really as important how the pieces or the twigs fit together, it's more important to get a nice texture to make him look like a tree.
Once I was done with the body or torso, I pre-baked. I then made the upper arms, pre-baked again, then made the forearms and the hands. And just like with most of my other character dolls, the reason why I leave the space between the limbs or kind of where the limbs connect is so that you can pose the doll after baking. Lastly, you just want to make the legs and once again, I first made the thighs, then pre-baked, made the rest of the leg and then baked again. Before attaching the head to the body, I first used my X-Acto knife to kind of cut off some of the excess clay and make it look a bit more rough. I then slid the head onto the wire for the neck, used pliers to bend the top of the wire so the head couldn't come off, added some clay on top to conceal it, and then baked one last time. And then finally you can add some color using acrylic paint. I purposely didn't add any of the sprouts or leaves that you may see on his body. And the reason for this is because when you are posing it because of the size, you're most likely going to squish it. If you do want to add them, I recommend making them either from paper or fabric. But personally, I chose to just leave them out. If you want to seal him with a matte glaze once you're done, you can definitely do that. But since I didn't use any pastel and only used paint, I don't find it to be necessary. However, I did add a thick glass glaze to his eyes to make them nice and shiny. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any suggestions for characters you'd like to see me make in the future, definitely leave them in the comments and I'll see you in my next tutorial.